As I watch Zatara leave Jetta Yacht Club, I think, man, it's about time for another Tips on Tuesday. About three years ago, I had a leak through the rudder packing and again on the passage up the Indian Ocean to Sukutra. So I thought it would be a good idea to talk about the steering system on Aquarius. I can't believe it. We're in Saudi Arabia at the Jeddah Yacht Club. The emergency tiller is right here. We're gonna be trying out that emergency tiller. And we're gonna be looking at the steering system on board Aquarius. So get ready to rumble. In order to have days like this, you're gonna have days like this. This is Tips on Tuesday. We're gonna talk about what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Stay tuned so you don't feel like doing this. If you like these videos, please subscribe and give us a like. And if you have anything to add to the conversation or any questions, please leave them below. Perfecto. So I just cleaned the house and look the explosion happened. And the guilty part is hiding. Hello? Hola! I am like messing up everything. So what we wanted to do is take a look at where the emergency tiller is. And the emergency tiller is back here. And by the way, our Super Marmo is a little bit different than everyone else's. They have a bookshelf there. We have a double bed. Yeah, so this is a double bed and we have all the cushions to make a double bed. But the emergency tiller is right here. So we're going to be trying out that emergency tiller. And we're going to be looking at the steering system on board Aquarius. So get ready to rumble. Is there any brackets in there? No, it's just laying in here. Okay. Yeah. So this is the emergency tiller. There's two pieces. This baby's heavy too. Baby out of here. I'll bet you this has never even been connected. I think we're going to have to go pull that out from the top before we do this. So let's go up to the top and get that figured out. So back here is a little cap. And uh, I think that what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to undo these lines here and get this out of the way so we can uh, put the tiller in. So we'll do that real quick. probably don't need a crowbar but I wanted something with a wider wider area try twisting it like uh, if it would be a screw I can't I can't get that thing to move so on your boat you might have the same problem as on my boat this thing's probably never never been off here so it was a pain to get it off so it's probably a good idea to put some tape around it as you pull this thing off. But it is, these are really, really difficult to get off. <laughs> oh my goodness. So there you 
you go. It's kind of dirty. We'll clean that all up and we'll put some stuff around it. But uh, that was a pain to get off. So you might want to maybe take yours off at some point and test all your system before you get out in the middle of the ocean when you really need it. All right, let's go back inside and let's get everything set up. So I believe this piece is to hold this on and bolt it down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wind that up, stick it in there like that. And then what we'll do, and these poles are freaking heavy. So uh, don't hit anything with it. So you can see there's a slit here. So when you tighten this up, it's gonna it's gonna tighten this thing together. So then what we do is we tighten this up, and this is your emergency tiller. So now you can turn the wheel. So if you see, see the wheel over there? When I turn this, it's gonna turn the wheel. So if we lose the cables that go in between our rudder and our steering column, or our steering, steering brakes in any way, we could hook this up and we could steer the boat with our emergency tiller. So there you go, that's the emergency tiller. Let's go put this baby away. It's always good to try to set up something before you absolutely need it. Because then you know where it is and how to use it. Here you go. That's your emergency tiller in a mirror in a super maramu. Now we gotta put all this stuff away and decide what we're gonna keep and what we're tossing. All right, let's go clean up that hole and get it all put back together. So now that we're done with the test, let's get this baby cleaned up, get some silicone grease on it, and uh, let's get it all put back together so we might be able to take it apart if we ever have an emergency. Now that thing will come off when I need it to come off. Okay, sitting here in the back cabin in Jetta, believe it or not. And um, what I want to show you is the quadrant, the rudder quadrant, and you know, maybe a little bit of maintenance on the, the rudder and things you might want to do to this area to make sure you don't have the same problems that I had. So here is the area. So this right here is our primary autopilot and it controls the rudder. Let's get the rest of this up first though. So here's the rudder quadrant here 
and this is connected directly to your rudder and this is what controls your steering right here and this is these wires here go around and they are connected to the steering wheel um, on on an amount it seems like it's just a steering wheel um, and these two tell the autopilots where the rudder is one of them's for one autopilot one of them's for the other autopilot so there you go that's what it looks like um, if you need to adjust your steering it's a little loose or there's there's play in it you'd adjust it with using these you just take these off and then you can adjust the the length using tur by turning these so it's really pretty easy one of the problems that we had on Aquarius was the rudder stuffing box is right underneath wreath neath he here and uh, we carry the stuff to uh, restuff it because you know we've had a leak before so we carry that we also carry a an extra plastic nut on it and we carry the wrench made by Amel so that we can actually tighten it actually they should have made it out of better steel but uh, anyways and then when you tighten it you can just get this you know you put it on and then you give it give it a couple like one sixth turns um, there's also a plate over here that you have to take off before you uh, turn it so and that's over here let me show you where that is so right here you have to take this off then then you can turn the plastic nut that's under here so two times we had problems where our rudder started leaking so what I did was I put in a couple of these alarms in here so here's the alarm and it, I just glued it down in the lowest place in here so so if there's any water that gets in there an alarm will go off here's our secondary one so we have one one here and we have one in there I put one here and I put one in here because when the water gets in here it actually comes around and uh, gets in this area here and then it gets all everything wet in here so we've had the carpet get all wet so if I can get the if I can get to it early I can put another another turn on 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 this to tighten it down a little bit and then clean up my mess early so my mess will just be in here but on long passages you might not come back to the back cabin for I don't know maybe four five six days and by that time everything's wet back here and then you have to try to clean it all up and it gets to be a real mess but uh, you really should carry the a spare so you can actually redo your stuffing box you should carry the wrench for it and then you also want to keep one of these on board too because if the nut ever breaks or or you want to do the stuffing it's nice to have the plastic nut because these things can break and uh, the stuffing material and then you can you can redo it and if anything breaks you can just replace it see now you can adjust the tension on your on the length of your cable right here
and then you can just tighten tighten everything back up again and you're done but there there's a, a lot of videos on how to change your stuffing box um, it's pretty easy to take off all of these these parts um, you just unscrew this bolt unscrew this bolt take these parts off you take this off um, take um, these parts off and then this entire piece will come off and then you can get to the stuffing box you just undo that and you get to your stuffing box and then you can uh, replace everything in your stuffing box but uh, one of the things you really should put in is um, water sensors inside here so if you start to get any type of leak you're warned right away um, so you don't have to wait until it makes a big mess back here but uh, let's go take a look at the rest of this this the steering this is our primary autopilot here and you can also see that if these steering cables break if if anything breaks over here you can still use the autopilot it doesn't matter if your your steering column up at uh, up in the cockpit is connected or not. This autopilot will work. So let's go take a look at the other autopilot. So in here, this is the other end of those cables that were in the back, right here. They go into the engine room and then back. This is, of course, your your steering. Um, it basically controls the, the cables. It's connected in here with some gears. So this is what turns it. This is our secondary autopilot here. So this autopilot will not work if these cables are broken, but this autopilot can be a secondary autopilot if something happens to your primary. You can turn this one on and this one's run with this chain here. So here you go. That's our secondary autopilot right there. And we switch between the autopilots right here. So that's our secondary autopilot. And there's our primary autopilot. That's how you turn them on and off. Now they're both off. And of course, that's how your iridium go. Right there. Smoke this detector. is one of our smoke detectors. I just leave it right there because if anything happens in the engine room, this area here gets smoke. So I keep it right there. And plus if anything happens in here, we'll get smoke. So I, I like having a smoke detector in there. And that is about it. If you like this video, give us a like down below and click here to subscribe. That really helps us. And if you want to watch more of us, click one of those. They said they came from Spanish. Oh.